Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question is why nutrition? Why do we need to talk about nutrition? Why food is necessary? Now to do any kind of work, we need energy. Now when we say any kind of work, just think of the types of work which we do. Whether we do exercise or you do some hard work by cutting a tree, which, which you should not do of course or when you are jogging so what what's happening when you are doing all these things so when you do all these things you tend to get tired why because you are spending energy now when you spend energy what do you need your body needs more energy and how do you get that energy of course from the food which we eat so energy comes from food and that energy is needed for everything now not only the physical activities even for mental activities when you think when you are studying, so maybe you are just sitting on your chair and you are studying for two hours, but at the end of two hours, what happens? You get tired. So you didn't jog, you didn't exercise, you didn't dance, there was no physical activity, then why did you get tired? Because your mind was continuously working, your brain was continuously working while you were studying. So even that needs energy. So you spent a lot of energy by, by studying for two hours. So now you need some more energy. In fact, you will be surprised to know that even when we sleep, so that time the expenditure of energy is minimum, that's true, but a lot of life processes are even then taking place inside our body because we have just slept, we are still alive. So a lot of life processes, for example, the transportation process, so where the circulation of blood is still going on, we are still breathing, so the process is still happening. So. All these life processes, they also need energy to work. So for respiration, they need energy. For transportation, again, the process needs energy. So that is something which is happening all the time. So if you look at these variety of activities, you get to know that, yes, if we do not have energy, we will not be able to do any of these, right? And in order to have energy, we need to eat food. Now, what does our food consist of? Food contains some important substances which help in our growth, development and which provide us energy. So the variety of food items which we eat, they all provide those substances which are essential for growth and development of our body for the maintenance of the various life processes. So what do these food items contain? They contain nothing but nutrients. Now not only in case of human beings, even in case of plants also, they also need nutrition. Now how do they need nutrition or in what form do they need nutrition? So in plants if you see, they can't live without light, water. So they need food in terms of nutrients again. So from where do they get nutrients? Not only from water and light, they get nutrients from the soil as well. So you see their roots are like very firmly uh, attached to the soil because through the root hairs they are actually absorbing the minerals so there are so many dissolved minerals like sodium, potassium, nitrogen, phosphorus and they are all essential for growth and development of plants. So that's how even plants need nutrition. So here in this lesson we are going to talk about plant nutrition. So what is plant nutrition? It is the process of obtaining food and utilizing it for growth, repair and metabolism. So how do plants obtain their food? What do they do with that food? So that is what all that comes under plant nutrition. So if you look at a plant, so you see the you when you water the plant every day, when you actually have a proper arrangement of soil for that plant, it is getting appropriate sunlight. You actually observe the same plant for a, some time. You will you will actually see the plant growing. Now you stop giving water to the plant. You start keeping it inside a dark room where there is no sunlight. What will you observe? You will see that over a few after a couple of days, the plant dies. That's because the plant is deprived of nutrition. 
Now, when I say nutrition, I am talking about uh, making the nutrients or making the those essential substances available to the plants which are essential for its growth which are essential for its metabolic activities that is the life processes taking place inside which are essential for its repair so that is so that some somewhere something happens so for that tissue repair or for the repair of those cells so for that also it needs energy so for all these purposes it needs food it needs nutrients so what are nutrients nutrients are those substances that provide nourishment needed for growth and maintenance of life you would have observed that your mom often advises you that okay you should drink at least two glasses of milk per day you should eat some fruits that is going to give you energy that will help you to grow right you'd have seen the advertisements on television where they say that uh, drink Complan, so you will be taller, so you will have a good growth. So whenever you talk about growth, so growth is related to the kind of food which you eat. So the food which you eat again, what kind of food you are eating that is more important because the food contains nutrients. Now whichever nutrients are more important for your body, you have to take those nutrients in the right amount. For example, if you start eating only pizzas all the time, what's going to happen? Pizza doesn't contain a lot of nutrients. So over a period of time, you even though you are eating a lot of food, you are eating a lot of pizza, but your body is not getting nutrients. So you will be deprived of a lot of nutrients. So when we talk about nutrition, we talk about the right food which needs to be taken and what happens to that food when it goes inside your body. So right now we are talking about plant nutrition. So we will talk about the food which are essential for the plants, how they get those food and what happens to the food once it gets inside the body of a plant. So for human beings maybe these all could be the nutrients, maybe milk or cheese or fish or meat so all these could be nutrients some of these are rich in calcium some are rich in protein some are rich in carbohydrates so all these like uh, carbohydrates proteins so these are all different nutrients these are all examples of nutrients and we need all of them for growth and for maintenance of life so it is not only about us even in case of plants also they need nutrients so why do plants need nutrition for growth of course because even plants need to grow now the need of nutrition is different for different organisms so different organisms need different nutrients in different quantities depending upon the life processes that take place inside the body of that organism so when you talk about plants growth is a very important aspect for which they need food tissue repair so any damage that happens to any part of the plant so the plant should have enough energy to self repair that part so tissue repair reproduction so even plants need to sustain their species so for that they need to reproduce now uh, plants can reproduce both sexually as well as asexually so you will learn about reproduction in plants in uh, one of the coming lessons Metabolism, that is the various life processes comes here, the various metabolic activities which are taking place inside the plant. So for all these, they need energy and from where will they get energy? So that energy is obtained from the nutrition. So we will see how exactly plant obtain their nutrition. Resistance against diseases, that is also very important. Now plants also can get a lot of disease. Now just like in human beings, so if you eat healthy, if you are taking good amount of nutrients in your food, what happens? Your body remains strong. So you develop resistance against diseases. So you do not fall ill very frequently. So the same is true for plants also. So now that we are clear with the idea of plant nutrition, we know what is plant nutrition, why they need nutrition. So let us... Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.